Today's guys we are going to be making a tandoori chicken kebab and homemade flatbreads. Recipe is absolutely delicious. So you'll need some natural yogurt, some chicken thighs, onion powder, garlic powder, coriander and cumin, garam masala, smoked paprika and a lemon. First thing we want to do is get our chicken, we're going to cut it into nice manageable pieces. Now this is chicken thigh, you can absolutely use chicken breast, nothing wrong with that whatsoever, it's just that I think the thigh can cook for a lot longer, the breast seems to dry out a lot quicker, but there's nothing wrong with using breast if that's what you prefer. What we're going to do now is just make the marinade, so three tablespoons of your natural yoghurt goes in, followed by a teaspoon of garlic powder, teaspoon of onion powder, teaspoon of smoked paprika, same with cumin, coriander and garam masala. Then you want to add the juice of one whole lemon, this is an organic lemon so it's absolutely full of seeds, just make sure they don't go into the recipe. And then just give that a good mix together. All we're going to do now is just put our chicken into the marinade. And then with the Michael Jackson gloved hand, which I seem to love just recently, just give that a really good mix together. Make sure all the chicken is really well coated in that marinade. And what we're going to do is just put that into the fridge for about two hours. Overnight would be better, but at least two hours. So once it's had a couple of hours in the fridge, you want to get yourself a nice deep roasting tin and some kebab skewers. You can use the wooden ones if you like, if you are going to use the wooden skewers, I'd probably soak them for a couple of hours first so that they don't burn. Then we're just going to put our chicken onto the skewers. Try and leave a little tiny bit of a gap in between if you can. If they're too close together they really struggle to cook and they don't cook evenly. You're going to do that until all your chicken's on. Just have a last little bit of a jiggle with your thighs. Make sure there's a bit of a gap. We all have a bit of thigh gap. And there we go, these are ready to go into a oven. So what I do is I preheated my oven they're going to take about 40 to 45 minutes, the oven's at 180 degrees or 356 degrees Fahrenheit. While they're cooking in the oven, let's get on with making some flatbreads. This is a really simple recipe, but they taste absolutely amazing. So 200 grams of plain flour, followed by 200 grams of the same yoghurt that you used in the marinade. And then we're going to put one teaspoon of baking powder in there. What the baking powder will do is it will just make it really airy and it will lift. So once you've got those, go in with a fork and just start mixing that together. After a while it will come blind enough so you'll be able to get your hand in there. So I forgot to put some seasoning in, so I'm going to put some seasoning in at this point. So a really good crank of some salt and some pepper needs to go into this recipe. Ideally put this in before you start mixing it, but truth be told I did forget. Not a problem though, because we're going to need it, so it will still combine in there. So get your hand back in, start going at it again. It will start to get a little bit dry, if it does just add a little bit of water at a time, and then start combining again. You'll end up with a beautiful soft dough and a clean bowl, that's when you know it's ready to be kneaded. So a little bit of flour on your board, and then what we're going to do is just knead this dough for about 5-6 to six minutes, you want to get it nice and elastic and smooth. It will look just lit exactly the same as like a, a bread mixture. So get your Hercules arms in there and give it a right good mix together. Then what we're going to do is just cut these into four individual pieces. So this recipe will make four nice sized flatbreads. If you want smaller breads then I suppose you could cut them into smaller pieces. Roll those up and then you want to leave them to rest for about 10-15 minutes. After they've had a bit of time to rest, just flour your board. Start to even it out with your hand so that you get a nice circle shape, but again guys these don't have to be perfect circles, it's entirely up to you how you want them, but I try to keep them as round as possible. Into a dry pan on a high heat, you want to cook them on one side till they start to bubble. When they've bubbled just check the colour because that normally means that they're ready to toss over. Give them a toss, and you can see what this baking powder's done in the recipe, they're going really fluffy and full of air, they're basically steaming on the inside and they will be beautiful and soft in the middle. So after it's had its 40 minutes in the oven, your chicken should now be done. So we're just going to take that out, look at the beautiful black gnarly bits on the outside, absolutely delicious. 
And there you have it guys, tandoori chicken and homemade flatbreads. Thank you so much for watching guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please don't forget to like, comment, share this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to become part of the family. Until next time guys, I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.